In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I would do to start making millions as a level 1 in GTA Online. As you can see, this is a brand new account. As a brand new player, you actually get $4 million to spend, but from there, you actually need to make money yourself. I'm completing some starter missions right now, but the business I went with is the nightclub. It's very good for passive money making, so we'll get started with that in a sec. And out of the vehicle selection, it gives you, I went with the Hakachu Drag Motorcycle that you can actually upgrade to an HSW later, and also so the night shark which is a great armored vehicle then just a few weapons like the carbine rifle a pistol and an smg and a shotgun also a sniper rifle but that's pretty much all you need to start off so we're heading to our nightclub right now now the nightclub is the best business for generating you passive money so we're gonna start off with that just so we have some money to collect as we're starting to play the game here 20 minutes later now after three setup missions the passive income is finally set up as you can see on the bottom right we have the pop popularity bar the goal is to always be keeping it full and as long as it's full we'll be generating fifty thousand dollars every time which is a lot especially for a low level with passive income every 48 minutes we can go doing whatever else we want in gta online every 48 minutes that passes by we'll be generating that money 48 minutes is basically one in-game day so let's go to other money making methods now that we have a passive income stream with this character now as you can see on the map we just got a call from vincent and now we have the v icon on the map right next to the police station we're going to be starting with the cluck and bell farm raid not only can you get a lot of money from it but i do believe it also has a first time bonus so all the first timers you can actually make a very very good amount now we're not going to be making any money from the setup so let's just go ahead and complete these and get to the finale and see how much we can make from that so it's going to be five setups total each taking about five to ten minutes and then we have the finale which is about 10 to 15 minutes one hour later feel free to help each other out with these missions because i just sprinted through these setups and now we're about to finish the finale mission just like that with an experienced friend or it doesn't even have to be all that experienced as long as you guys just manage to take out as many npcs as possible you guys will make this way quicker the npcs in these missions sometimes just laser you like crazy fast so be somewhat careful if you have snacks and body armor obviously that's going to help out a ton but i didn't even get any as i said before I got no money from any of the setups only the person joining actually gets money from completing the setups but now we have the final cutscene of the cluck and bell farm raid we should be able to secure five hundred thousand dollars half a million dollars already excluding bonuses and I guess we're just gonna do a little swap with this guy and that is the heist done mission pass we have made five hundred thousand dollars half a million bucks along with a nice amount of RP as well I can't remember what bonuses we're supposed to get so let's see i'm hoping it's like another quarter million bucks that would be very nice we managed to get to level 10 already and we have got ourselves just 500 000. Oh. We got an extra $250,000, so $750,000 total from doing the Cluck and Bell farm raid for the very first time. We're nearing a million here, and we are, of course, able to replay the Cluck and Bell farm raid. I believe it has a cooldown of about 48 minutes, one in-game day. So if you guys want to replay that, you can. It's going to take you about an hour to get another $500,000. The next method we are going to be doing is actually unlocking a property completely for free through the first dose and last dose missions i saw i have two r icons right next to each other the left one and the right one you want to be going to the left one right here right in front of this liquor store and if we go inside this yellow circle press right d-pad to help ron with this situation then it's gonna put you in a super long cutscene. let it pass by and then i'll see you guys once we get to the payout of this mission and the amazing first time bonuses the main thing with these are the first time bonuses which we'll look at a little later later that same evening we only get twenty two thousand dollars from this mission which is not that much you might say but after the first time bonus for each of these missions you're gonna see it's actually very very worth it after doing the very first first dose mission we get an extra fifty thousand dollars so for every first dose mission you get an extra 50k as a first time bonus there are six first dose missions that you can do so fifty thousand times six that's an extra three hundred thousand dollars after completing all of them the freak shop is now available to visit go to the d icon to continue working for dax and his crew so if you want to continue these first dose missions you just go to the d icon inside of the freak shop so now you have yourself a property 
Free for absolutely free. It also has the Acid Lab in it. But after completing the six Firstos missions, you get yourself five Lastos missions. And for the five Lastos missions, you get an extra $100,000 as a first time bonus, which means you get an extra 500,000 bucks. Overall, you get $800,000 from first time bonuses with the first and last dose missions. And the direction to go from here is just keep on doing the first and last dose missions. Of course, you can also do the regular time trial, which is going to be in a different location every single week. One that has absolutely no requirements is the junk energy time trial. So let's actually go and do that just so we can get to $900,000 just about and call it a day. The regular time trial could be pretty challenging just because it's the hardest time trial out of all four. But with the Hakuchu Drag, it's definitely doable once you get the hang of it. Here is the Junk Energy Time Trial. Once again, this is what the icon of it is going to be looking like on the map. Just a purple bicycle. We have to beat a time of a minute 50 with this one. So let's go inside of it. We're going to start on a freaking mountain. Are you kidding me? We're going to spam A or X on PlayStation to go faster. Then I believe it's RB or R1 on PlayStation to bunny hop. No! Oh, we were so close. We just missed it by like a second. All right, we got to bunny hop a bit more for sure. The payout doesn't get affected whatsoever if you complete it the first or second time. Five minutes later. Oh yeah, we got this one in the bag. We got this one in the bag. Boom, $51,000. And we got an extra 50,000 bucks from the passive income in the nightclub. So what we were messing with at the start of the video, we just got $50,000 from. Let me collect that and then I'll catch you guys once I did. So as you can see inside of the wall safe, we have $50,000 waiting for us. Now, the popularity bar did go down. As it generates money, it goes down. So we have to keep it up, remember. There is the money that we can go and collect. So we just passively generate this money just like that and in this video in total we made nine hundred and thirty thousand dollars so close to a million bucks in this video and i already told you guys what you guys need to be grinding to make it to two million and more go into resident dj and then you can buy any one of these djs and then reassign them to keep the popularity bar up i hope this video showed you that you can start making a lot of money really fast in gta online just takes a bit of grinding honestly if you can dedicate a couple of hours in the first day of playing this game you can definitely definitely make some solid money like we did in this video and I didn't even grind for that much. I know this video is really cut down but in total I really only grinded like two maybe two and a half hours including all the cutscenes which were a lot. If you want on to enjoy this video drop a like on it subscribe if you are new help us get to 200,000 subscribers that would be much appreciated. Click the video on screen now to see the best vehicles for money making in GTA Online. I hope you all enjoy that video and peace.